What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Weekly Flare Podcast, episode 37. I'm one of your hosts, James Walter, and with me is Mr. Chris Garcia. As always. As always. Chris, you are here again. Did you have a good week? Yeah. It's been yeah. steady. Steady's good. Chris, last week our YouTube hit an all-time high. We had like over 30 views. It was pretty amazing. That's not bad. I think it's because you tagged it Moto X Pure. I, I don't know why, honestly, but we did. Um, also, apparently, Meerkat is having issues again tonight, folks. So if you're trying to watch live, I am sorry. Go over to Periscope. It's more stable. Yeah. It's more stable. And it can <clears throat> video on landscape. So that's also cool. Chris, um, I, I have to start out by saying that I've had a pretty terrible week in technology. So I've heard. Yeah. Um, I apparently, um, my new phone's too big for my pockets. And it fell out while I was getting out of my car Sunday night. And broke, and the screen is completely unusable. Like, it won't respond at all. So it so, got, it was up and working Thursday or Friday? Friday. So Friday night, I went to Verizon. It was all activated, running great. And then Sunday night, I was getting out of my car, and it just fell out of my pocket, hit the screen just right. Not only shattered the glass, but the screen won't respond at all. Luckily, Android is so nice that I can plug a USB mouse into it, so I'm able to, you know, check my messages and stuff. Assuming you're on Verizon. Yeah. Because apparently I'm also not receiving text messages from anyone but Verizon phone numbers. I He texted me on the way over here and he said, hey, message me. And I, he didn't get my message. Yeah. I was on the phone with Verizon support and nothing. And they're like, okay, we'll try this and try this. And I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know. They think it's just because of the port needs to take time. But I'm like, it's been since Friday. And it's not like... It's not like the, the port transfer takes a break on the weekend, you know, for the for the weekend break. So, uh, I don't know. Maybe when by the time you get your new phone, it'll all be sorted Hopefully out. everything gets sorted out soon, because I know I have text messages that just aren't coming in from people. So that's that's not good, because I, I switched back to Verizon to get more reliable service again. And, uh, oh, I, just, <clears throat> it's not good. It's what? not good. What do we do to get in contact? Not completely their fault, but not good. Uh, you can get me on Twitter. You yeah, know, Twitter. Just get me on the Twitter, at James Walter. Uh, everyone can find me there, whether you know me or not. So just do that, if you want to go hold of me for now. Or um, email me, if you got the email. You know, That's always an option. Or uh, just watch the Weekly Flip. That's the good option. You should just watch the Weekly just Flip. You should that. do that anyways, though. Really, you should be watching or listening to the Weekly Flare anyhow. But yeah, that was my weekend, Chris. It's uh, been rough. Also, we got cable and our DVR box wouldn't work, so they had to come out and look at that too. It's just, it's been a rough couple days for me with technology. <clears throat> um, it happens sometimes. I had to reset the modem and the router because uh, Rachel's printer was acting up and the, the Wi-Fi was messing up the time, so it was timing out basically, and just wouldn't print. It's, it's just been a crazy like few days. Yeah. I've um, I've been doing my own research on technology uh, about what I'm wanting to get for the apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think I'm going to go with a Netgear N3000 or N300. Mm -hmm. It's a modem router combo. Get the modem router combo. <clears throat> and then you guys get your internet just tell them you're going to use your own modem. Yeah. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. I mean, it's I can do that or I can pay it. eight bucks a month. No. Get your own modem, folks. Yeah. And if you can get your own cable box, buy your own cable box, too. Yeah. Renting cable boxes is like... It's like an eight billion dollar industry just that they make not it's time Warner by themselves, but like all the cable companies as a whole. They're making a lot of money off people running off that box. I'll be honest, man, I don't plan on getting cable. Uh, we have an Apple we're gonna have an Apple TV. We got a Netflix I mean, cow. You got Netflix, Apple TV, you don't need it. there's some stuff we wanna watch, like the new Muppet show, for instance, we wanna watch that. And Rachel and her friend um, they like to watch TV and talk about it. So like, you know, it's whatever. They, they, you know, I like watching TV, so I'm not terrible about it, but. Can you stream or buy it from Hulu Plus? Um, yeah, a lot of it, I mean, Hulu Plus, though, the problem with Hulu that we've run into, like, we've had Hulu. And like, it just, some stuff just doesn't get on there at all. Or it's only a couple episodes are on there, so like, if you get more than like a couple weeks behind, you just don't know, you can't see what happened. Mm. Usually you can go buy it on iTunes once it's out, like to buy, but then you have to like, you know, wait till it's out on iTunes. Um, it, it's just nice. That way, you know, we can just kind of watch everything and, um, 
we have DVR now, yeah. and uh, so yeah, it'll be nice. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, I, I guess I don't know. It's just an extra forty dollars. It's cool with Time Warner Cable because like if you have the DVR plan, or I think it's any of their cable, any of the beyond just basic cable with them, you can actually watch it on your um, cool. phone nice. okay. or like on a web browser, so you can stream it wherever you are. So if you're not home. You can still take advantage of your cable subscription, which is really smart. I think I'm gonna. I do like that. I think I'm gonna go with the fifty-five dollar package, which mm -hmm. is. It's like 30, 30, 30 down. Uh, no, 30, 30 down, like three up or something like it's that. It's five. Oh, it's five up. It's okay. five. So, uh, I think I'm gonna be going with yeah, that. Yeah, that, that should be plenty for what you guys are gonna be yeah. doing, unless you're like just doing like a ton of stuff at the same time, like no. all of you are watching YouTube at the same time, something like that. But I don't think will be that'll be necessary. But yeah, it, it's good. You'll, you'll be happy with that, I yeah. think. But yeah, seriously, people, everyone listening right now, buy your own modem. Modem and router combo. Just spend the hundred dollars, buy the it's, modem. It's a modem router combo. It's, I don't know. It's Mine's a modem and then a router, which is okay. how I would recommend doing it, honestly. You wouldn't do the 30, 40, or 340? I would buy a separate modem and a separate router. That's just past experience says okay. everything runs better that way. Okay. Um, this one's about a hundred bucks for the combo mm -hmm. deal. So mm -hmm. it's not bad. Um, yeah, but but seriously though, even if you do the combo, just buy your own modem. I'll have to take a look at your router and modem just to see what I'm you just, guys got. Just saying, just do it. Um, it you'll save money in a year. You'll you'll break even probably in about a year or so. Yeah, you can do that, or you can rent it for eight dollars a month, and that's yeah, it's, and it's then ridiculous. That too. Ridiculous. Yeah. Don't do that. You get it on Amazon. You know what you should do though? You should be cool like this kid. That um. Donated money for life for bulletproof vest for dogs. Yes, and speaking of apartments, this was sponsored by State Farm Insurance. Sorry, I was trying to do the a segue. story was. Yes. Oh really? Sponsored by State I just Farm. I said speaking of, kind of, of awesome, you should be like this kid. <laughs> well, I was looking at apartment insurance recently, so I got to look at State Farm now. We have this apartment car insurance there. Eerie. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'm gonna stick to that. But we got this kid, Ethan Flint. He is nine years old, and instead of gifts for his birthday this year, he um, he asked friends and family to donate money to his GoFundMe account. I mean, yeah. we know Go, GoFundMe. We know GoFundMe. We've well. talked about them. Um, and he is moving uh, to help in Minnesota uh, for to to buy protective vests for police dogs. Yeah. Um, this is something. I don't know if police dogs really have vests. They have yeah, you know, some of them do. They have call tag vests. Yeah, no, some of them do get the bulletproof vest. Mm -hmm. It costs like twenty six hundred dollars per vest for a dog. Uh, this kid for his birthday raised uh, almost thirteen hundred dollars. Thirteen hundred dollars. And he uh, gave him a check to the police department to buy a vest for the K nine unit. So that's pretty cool. I think so. Um, it says that he's been helping animals for more than half of his life. Uh, numerous gifts on his fourth birthday. Uh, he d decided to donate a lot of his money to the zoo uh, in Lake Superior. Yeah, so he's, that's he's cool. just like, since he's been really young, he's just been like, hey, you know what, I have lots of stuff, I want to help out some animals. That's cool, you know, if the kid has a cause he believes in, it sounds like his family's totally behind him wanting to help out instead of just getting everything himself, so that's awesome. And, uh, yeah, it was just a really, it was a really cool story, because like I said, this kid, he could have just got all his birthday presents for exactly. the last like five years. And instead of doing that, he's been donating to animals and to other causes, and police dogs need vests. You know why? Yeah. Police dogs are awesome. I think, you know, uh, this is going to be a big move, and I, I think this is going to encourage people to donate more. I think it's going to raise more than 1300 bucks um, in the near future. Yeah. So, is the GoFundMe account still there to donate to? I can check for you. I don't know how um, GoFundMe works. I don't know if like it closes after a certain time. It might know. it might be like our other one that we love. I remember if it's like Kickstarter where it's like time or if it's like this dollar amount or Um Well it says I don't think there is actually it says right here he's la raised seventeen twenty five. Okay, so and he's raised more money since the story was up. Now. Yeah, it's by sixty people in three months. His uh his mark is twenty six hundred dollars. Right. To buy a vest. So, so it's still up right now. It's still up. Okay, so you can still go and donate to this GoFundMe account. Mm -hmm. So we'll put the links down in the show notes, so you can uh, go go help out, help some some dogs. Yeah, it says that it was help supposed a kid to kid help some dogs. It was supposed to be up till August first, but I think they are still pushing it. 
Um, so do you, I think this kid is either going to be, become, you know, uh, work at the zoo, become a, a canine unit for the dogs, or he might, he might do something in that. He might just be awesome. He could just be an awesome kid. True. Might find a good job later on. Like the army, for instance. For the army. That was a segment. That was a great story. Segment. And you just let it sit there. I was trying to let it go. Let's see. Um, we have, I guess this happened. Okay. It happened. Yeah, it happened. This totally happened. This happened in Tennessee. Um, now, it looks like a man died. Uh, he died at, this man died at 66. His name was Lee, Ronnie Lee Toller. Um, and he had a funeral, but he wasn't really claimed, which I'm not sure what that means. He didn't have any family. It probably means, yeah, he didn't have any family that claimed his body or something when okay. they found him. Yeah, which is, you know, I don't which know. Which is super sad. Yeah, it is, and I don't know how often it happens. Uh, um, I mean, not probably not super often, but it does happen. Yeah, but the, the great thing about this, even though this is a, a sad story, um, a hundred, hundreds of people attended his, uh, his funeral. Hundreds. And, and he also got a motorcade, and there's people standing on the side of the street. Uh, they were carrying American flags, and you know. Waving, and, 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 and none of them knew him. They were all strangers. All strangers. Uh, so this is good. I, I honestly, this is, is going to be weird to say, but I wish a lot of our military and veterans' funerals were more like that. Not the unclaimed part. Not the unclaimed part, but... But the people going out to show support for, exactly. the, for giving their life. Regardless. To help. Yeah, but their active duty or a veteran, mm -hmm. I think. It's I'm definitely a... really neat that these people all gathered together when they heard that this veteran had passed away and that he didn't have any family or friends that claimed him to go see his funeral. So they like had a funeral for him. And they all went out and had a little funeral procession and all that. And it's just really cool to go yeah. out and show your support. Even though he doesn't know... So it's really cool for yeah, the community is. to go out and do that. The uh, the Patriot Guard riders, which are some honor guard people, they showed up as well and they showed their support. And I I, I love that too because uh, my grandparents, both my both my grandfathers had a military funeral where mm -hmm. they had their their guardsmen out there as well. And I, I honestly I love that more than anything uh, to show support um, to everyone and anyone who is in the military. Yeah, it's really cool that they went out and just showed their support to this guy. And that's awesome. It's really cool. It's really cool. Well, Chris, how about we take a break? And then um, when we come back, let's talk about some blood moons, some new watches, and something else that I wrote down. What was it? Is it, it on our uh, yeah, show it's notes? Yeah, it's in our show notes. There's something else we're going to talk about. So don't go away. We'll be right back. 